Question 4. An elevator is accelerating with constant acceleration A in the upward direction. In the elevator, the block of mass M is placed on an inclined plane with an angle of inclination theta as shown in the figure. An external force F normal to the surface of the inclined plane is applied to the block. The coefficient of static friction between the block and the inclined plane is mu sub s. Part A. Draw a free body diagram for the block in the elevator in the non-inertial reference frame. So, for a non-inertial observer. Part B. Find the magnitude of the external force F to keep the block at rest relative to the inclined plane. Express your answer in terms of the given quantities and the gravitational acceleration G. So we're looking for the minimum force. So let's start with part A. Here we're going to draw a free body diagram as viewed by a non-inertial observer. Okay, so let's, uh, for reference, have an inclined plane here, making an angle theta with respect to the horizontal. Okay, so here is our block with mass m. Obviously, the block has a weight mg pointing down and uh, normal to the surface we, we should have a normal force a contact force from the surface so there is the normal force and uh, we have the external force F being applied normal to the surface uh, F um, and because this uh, block is trying to slide down this inclined plane we should put a static friction f sub s that is opposing this motion and on top of that so first of all let me make sure that this angle is 90 degrees this angle is theta uh, on top of that we will have uh, a fictitious force. Why? Because we are in a non-inertial reference frame. So we need to put another force in the downward direction and that, that's our fictitious force which is m times acceleration a. So it should be in the opposite direction uh, with respect to the acceleration of the elevator and should be equal to the mass of the block times the acceleration of the elevator. So with that if I uh, put my coordinate axes uh, like this here, if this is my y-axis, this is my x-axis, I can analyze the situation. Okay, so in total I have normal force, the external force, mg, the fictitious force pointing down, and static friction pointing up the incline. So the second part of the question, find the magnitude of the external force F minimum magnitude to keep the block at rest. So if I write the net force on the y-axis, uh, I have the normal force pointing in j-hat direction. As you can see here, the normal force is in j-hat direction. F is in uh, minus j-hat direction, so normal force minus F. And then I can see that uh, this fictitious force and the weight of the block have a component uh, on the y-axis, so I will have a minus m g plus a cosine theta. And this net force on the y-axis should be zero because there's no motion on the y-axis. Then I can find that the normal force is the force F plus m g plus a cosine theta. Now, on the other hand, if I write the net force on the x-axis, it is uh, ma plus g has a component on the x-axis, so it is ma plus g sine theta in the i-hat direction, and static friction is opposing the motion sliding down. This must be equal to zero, so I find that the force of friction should be equal to m 
a plus g sine theta, which is to be less or equal to mu s times the normal force. Okay, so I find that uh, m a plus g sine theta should be less or equal to uh, mu s times the normal force, which is f plus m g plus a cosine theta. Okay, so if I uh, rearrange this to isolate f, I will find the minimum force necessary. So you can see that I have uh, m a plus g uh, parentheses uh, sine theta here. And on the right hand side, I also have m a plus g, but mu s times cosine theta. So minus uh, mu s times uh, cosine theta. So m a plus g sine theta minus uh, mu s m a plus g cosine theta. This should be less or equal to mu s times f. So I get my final answer m a plus g sine theta minus mu s times cosine theta divided by mu s should be less or equal to f. So therefore, the minimum possible magnitude for f is m a plus g sine theta minus mu s cosine theta divided by mu s. All right. So in this problem, we have a non-inertial observer in the elevator watching this uh, block and this block is not to slide against this inclined plane there is coefficient of static friction between the block and this uh, surface the inclination angle is theta there's an external force f which is applied normal to the surface of the inclined plane so free body diagram of the block as viewed by a non-inertial observer will include the normal force the external force f the weight of the block uh, pointing down and we have a fictitious force MA pointing down which is uh, because the acceleration capital A is upward direction and then we have static friction that is pointing up the incline in order to avoid the sliding of the block. The net force on the y-axis should be zero so I see that the forces that have a y component are normal force F the weight mg cosine theta and the fictitious force ma cosine theta. The net force on the x-axis must be zero because I don't want it to slide. ma slide ma plus mg sine theta minus fs should be zero. So the static friction should be equal to ma plus g sine theta, which is to be less or equal to mu s times the normal force, which I have found here. So I substitute this for the normal force. So m a plus g sine theta is less or equal to mu s times f plus m g plus a cosine theta. So m a plus g sine theta minus mu s m a plus g cosine theta can be written like this. This is less or equal to mu s times f. So minimum value is found by dividing this left hand side with mu s. So m a plus g sine theta minus mu s cosine theta divided by mu s is the final answer.